in the following lecture we're going to try and figure out uh, the formula uh, i is equal to a n v q it's a physics formula uh, related to electricity so current over here is equal to a n v q where the symbols a n v q represent so a over here is the cross sectional area of the wire whereas n is so n uh, number of free electrons in a material so these are the electrons that are basically driving the current or are available for conducting electricity similarly v uh, represents uh, the drift uh, the drift velocity of the electrons or the speed at which uh, an average electron is traveling so drift velocity of an electron and finally q is going to be the charge on one electron which is by the way 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulombs and it's going to be a negative charge so that's that's the value of q so let's quickly have a look at this wire so there's this small piece of wire and this is uh, the cross sectional area a over here uh, v is uh, the velocity of uh, one of the electrons so this is v which we have described uh, previously what is velocity it's uh, it's the distance covered per second uh, so distance would be in meters probably so distance per second whereas n is number of electrons per meter cube and q is the charge on an electron now we know that the formula of current is what is denoted by current if i write the formula of current is it's basically uh, the charge that is flowing per second per unit time so it's charge over over time so if we have all these values if we have cross sectional area we have uh, the velocity of the particles uh, and we have uh, the number of electrons per meter cube in that particular material and we also have the charge on electron then uh, n v uh, a so a and v q over here uh, we're going to show you that a and v q is basically charge over time it's equal to charge over time so what's happening is uh, that uh, if i try and derive uh, charge over time from this formula then it's going to be now a is cross sectional area so a multiplied by v if you focus on v first uh, then v is length over time so it's length per unit time uh, so velocity is distance over time so let's say that in one second this is the distance that is being covered so this is the length that is being covered in one second so per second it's length per second so a into l and it's being multiplied by n into q so a into l would be equal to if i do my working over here a into l would be equal to volume uh, so cross sectional area into the length that is basically the volume of the wire uh, so it's going to be volume into n which is and into q divided by the time uh, now if you focus on this volume into n n is the number of electrons per meter cube so n is the number of electrons per unit volume so if i multiply it by the volume that would give me the total number of electrons so this thing over here so circle this uh, if i multiply n by volume over here uh, number of electrons per meter cube into volume would give me the total number of electrons so that would give me total electrons into q divided by time t so this is the formula that i've derived so far so now focus on this total electrons we have gotten the total electrons uh, per second that are particular that are traveling in this wire so total electrons per second per unit time and each electron has a charge of q which is 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 coulombs so so these are the number of electrons that are flowing uh, through a particular volume in one second and this is the charge in one electron so that if i multiply this to this would give me the total it's going to give me the total charge and since it's being divided by time so if we divide by time 
so finally we've gotten exactly the same expression which is total charge over time so we have derived uh, or we have proved that current is charge over time or it could also be represented by the formula a n v q so remember this a n v q current is also equal to a n v q which is basically charge over time 